Hello and welcome to the Hornby Sovereign and Signature Collection range. Uh, as you can see, it is exclusively available through the listed Hornby stockists. I've just got the Hornby Sovereign, the Station Pilot, um, which is advertised at £108.49. I actually went to Chesterfield today and got it at WD Models for £98 exactly. That's it there, right in the middle. With the LNR J50 class 58. This is me opening up the station pilot in the Sovereign range. This is what we've got inside. The packaging. An empty box. O-112. Not sure what that's about. That's it there, the LNER J50 class 585. Let's have a quick look on the back, that was a bit about it. I won't read it all. The, the Grizzly Design J50 class eventually compressed of 102 locomotives with design variations such as the brakes driving position spoilers and bunker areas resulting in four class parts. Surfing area the LNR from Eastfield in Scotland to Cambridge where there was hard work to be done. A J50 was inversely on hand to do it. Nice pitch on top of it. Okay so let's Open up this one. Got the old safety note. Op operation and maintenance instructions. I think everybody's got lots of these. What's this one? Fitting a decoder. I don't need to be doing that. Ah, oh, look at this. There's lots of bits to fit to it. Some couplings. Oh, there's something that's fallen off it and I'm not sure what that bit is. Well, it was all very new. Let's keep that bit separate. What's that? Oh, that's oh, look, look, the cold bits falling off. Nice metal wheels. Oh, it's very black.
It's very nice painted. I don't know how well you can see inside, but it has got detail inside. How well you can actually see that inside, but you can I, I can just see there's quite good detail. It's even been painted inside a cab. Get these bits out. I'm not quite too sure. Now I'm not sure what these tiny little bits are. Not sure about this. This it might somehow fit underneath. I think I'm not sure. Oh, I see. So these these are for for the couplings to fit onto. So that I'm not too sure if it really matters which way around these guy. So that fits on So I'm going to have to be careful of this coal bit because this keeps on falling off. I might have to glue that bit in. So that. careful of this one because I don't know how well these are make sure these get pressed in even got well, not those glass, but plastic, but it's got plastic windows. So there's gonna be. I might want to get a driver put in there, but be very difficult to put a driver. You've got a very small hole there, so you know. I mean, it, it, you can either get a driver, or, well, or someone who's like, shh, he's got like, um, like a driver, someone who sits down, or there's one with a spade. Oh, oh look, it's got spring loaded buffers on the back, oh and the front, oh that, that's pretty good. Spring loaded. Something to look out, not all local carriages or good wagons have them, but sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, so that's something to check. Every time you get a new local loco a carriage or a wagon, just check to see if the buffers are spring loaded. On this one it is. Oh, and let, let's get out the, f the three wagons now and let's see. Now this is what a London Brick like? Company and Forders Limited. This is for the Forders Bricks. Now let's get this one out of the packaging. I think they look like, again, got metal wheels, I think. Very small. Um, as I said, it's five planks. I 
Uh, you can even see the old handbrakes on it. That's the, I think that's the handbrake there. Um, on, I think you um, like, like there's a little pin where you pulled it out and then uh, and it lifted it down and then, and then that's the and then that made the handbrake go on just there. You can just about see it. Very nice. Not much said about it, but it's just a small wagon. And again, I mean, it's exactly the same both sides. Handbrake both sides. So when they're uh, pushing it along in the yard, uh, they're able to stop it from going where they don't want it to go. And it wasn't connected to a loco. Now this one is a contract and container wagon. So let's get this one out. Oops. I hope this one's not broken. Is it supposed to do that? I don't know what that is. L7852. Maybe it is, because it doesn't seem to. Maybe it's supposed just to sit on there. I have to go on the horn before them or ask wing up horn be find out if it's supposed to be like that or is it supposed to got a bit of paper in there for some reason I don't know what that's for I don't know if it's supposed to sit on there or I don't know anyway there's British Railways on it can't Again on it, you can see I've got the old handbrake on it. I might to take some photos of it, of it and go on the horn before and ask if it's supposed to be. I mean, it doesn't seem to click on it or anything. It seems like it just sticks on there. Could be quite annoying because it could just fall off all the time. I don't know. I'm not, you know, I could just, I could just, I could just live with it and glue it on, I suppose. But I don't know. I have to find that out. Anyway, let's move on to the last wagon now. Right, this is the Wharton Seven Plank wagon. Let's get this one out. Arthur Wharton leads. Um, not really much to say about these wagons. Um, yeah, metal wheels. I think most um, they put uh, metal wheels on the, on, the, on the wagons and stock rolling stock these days because I think metal is probably better than plastic, apparently. Okay, so really not much to say, as I said. Um, non-spring buffers and again on the other wagons you can see the old brake system and brake system that all these wagons had so let's go put it on the railway and, and see what, what it looks like okay, let's put all these L and ER SBS loco on then as well. Put the second one on, the second, well not the second but the first wagon on. Let's 
second wagon on. I think these metal wheels are better than the plastic wheels. So that's me putting the loco on. Not too bad. Going well. Going around well. I had a quick check on the internet and apparently Ah, on the grey wagon, got the name Arthur Walton. Apparently, in the late 1800s, he was a cricket man, footballer. Foot, well, he was a, apparently the first black footballer. Uh, an all-round all athletic. Oh, I've never heard of him. Let's put up a bit more speed. Quite a fast low okay. Just see. Just quickly, top speed. Quite a fast loco then. Put it down to a reasonable speed then. So this is the J50 Class 4F LNER 585 uh, Built new in 1922 and 
1924 uh, 20 low coat of the LNR ER J50 class they had a standard form for 5 inch boiler becoming a J50 J50 stroke 2 and, and by 1926 had become the company's group standard type. Uh, 52 more locos were built. 38 at Donington Works at J as J50 stroke 3. In 1946, a class received the their LNER renumbering from Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.